What's the word, OG gang, man? It's your boy, you baby six, you know what I'm saying? Back with you. Um, this video is a specific. A um, few of my subscribers, they asked me, yo, OG, can you explain how to find your crown? Can you explain, you know what I'm saying, how the crown works? And in this video, I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna break it down the best of my knowledge. Remember, I've been away for only for a year and change. I know a lot, but not enough. So I'm still learning in the process, you know, it's, you learn, so I'm gonna show you the best I I can. Um, how to find your crown and what to do on the situations um finding the crown. By the way, this is my first week wolfing. I'm pushing into four weeks. So that's what I have so far. I haven't brushed the whole day, man. I was out of town. And as you can see, I've been having my, my do-rack all morning, all night. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't got a mirror where I went. So, let's begin. First of all, before you start with your crown, before you start finding your crown, locate your crown, if you want to become a waiver, this is the first thing that you got to do. Cut your hair to 1.5. All right, why? 1.5 is the best angle to start your wave journey. You know what I'm saying? That's to start the wolfing, to start the process of learning how to brush your hair, finding your angles, finding your patterns that you want to choose, and stay with it. You know what I'm saying? And stay committed to your pattern. First, it's going to be ripple stage. Then it's going to be um, setting in pattern, which is your wave is already in the curling. And after you reach the curling, you gotta go in, you know what I'm saying? Like, go in, no diddy, feel me? And just brush onto your definitions. You can see it like this. When you see this definitions like this, your pattern's already set. And after that, you just gotta maintain it. Make sure you brush every day, at least 10, 15 minutes. The whole pattern, A pattern, you know what I'm saying? Your A angles. Waves is just maintenance, you know what I'm saying? The only what the only thing the waves get bad is like if you create a fork. Why? Why you create a fork? Brushing the wrong way. Maybe today you was brushing like this. Next week you forget and you brush like this. You confuse your hair. So you make your hair crash with another wave because you're pushing your hair to the angle that's not supposed to. So that's how you create forks. And top of that, you create forks too. If you shift it, if you got a 540 with a swirl like me, and next month you wanna go with a 360 beehive, you gotta break the crown. And you gotta shift the whole thing. 540 and 360, similarities, but not too much. It's just little shifting patterns that you gotta do. So, back to the topic, where you find your crown. So let me turn around so I can explain it to you. I'm gonna use this to locate the crown. All right, so to locate the crown is gonna be right here. You see that little ground right here, that little circle? You see that little circle right there? That's the crown right here. Right there, that's the crown. So everything flows around your crown right here. So some people crown works different. Mine's is off center, as you can see, it's right here. It's not in the middle. Like some people, some people got it here. Some people got it on top. People got, it's different locations of people having the crown. So your job is to find out where and the only way is to cut it to 1.5. So when I cut it 1.5, then I became a waver. I didn't know what was a crown. I just wanted waves. So 
I started just brushing and started following the, the waivers. And then I realized what was the crown is. And I found out my crown was right here off center. So my crown flows clockwise. Some people flows kind of clockwise, which is the opposite. So how you, how you determine that your crown is in the right position or flowing the pattern that you want, you got to study your hair. Your hair is going to have like a little tiny ball spot and you're just going to see it's going to swirl up or it's going to stay open like a flower. So you got to use your own judgment there. Okay, you got to see how your, your crown is flowing. If it's like this, like a little cowlick, you're gonna see like a cowlick flowing like this, but you're gonna see it flowing the opposite. So based on your location, is how you're gonna brush your angles. Since mine is off crown right here, it's, it's off center, it's not in the center, which is I wish it was like that, but I guess God gave me this crown like this. You gotta brush around your crown, not in the crown. You gotta flow around your crown. So everything's different, you know what I'm saying? So huh? everything's different. So right here is the crown, right? So I'm gonna make sure you guys see it. Right here, this is my crown. How in my crown, of course, I find out before I started brushing. So you see my waves, everything is flowing around me. I'm not flowing into it. I'm flowing around my crown. That's how you gotta wave. That's how you gotta brush. You gotta brush around it. You cannot brush inside your crown. That's why it's a crown, because you gotta protect your crown. So, this is how I brush when I'm brushing, because I got a 540. Mine is 540 with a swirl, because this is a swirl that I have. So, all right, so make sure. You check your location and go with it, okay? And you make sure you choose your pattern wisely. And this is why I'm gonna say wisely. Some people choose patterns, but they change their mind later on. And that's the mistakes we, waivers, most of us make, like God did. You know what I'm saying? I started with a 360 with a swirl. Then I wanted to shift to 540. But it was too late, why? Because my pattern was already trained. You could shift. The way to shift is you gotta cut your hair to 1.5 the same way you shift, the same way you cut your hair to find your crown. So when you shift, you gotta train your hair. So it's gonna be a few, few things that's gonna happen in the process, which is creating forks, shifting your angles, and crooked pattern. When I say crooked, I mean your waves is not gonna look settled in. It's not gonna look settled. So you gotta keep, you gotta stay consistent and keep brushing, brushing, and you're gonna have to increase the washing styles. Washing styles when you wash your hair, when it's wet with shampoo. That's the reason why we use shampoo to keep the hair down and we brush it. So when you do washing style, you gotta make sure you wash your style at least twice a week so you could train your hair fast as possible. That's how I did it, that's how it worked for me. You know what I'm saying? You guys could try this technique. That's how you train your hair. When you're in the curling, that's how you gotta do it. 1.5 for me, that's a curling, because after that you start training your hair until your patterns gets defined and you can see your pattern flowing like mine's. And then waves, you just maintain them, okay? You just gotta maintain them. Wash your hair once a week or twice a week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how often you wash it? Mine's, I, I wash it one, uh, twice a week because I work in a warehouse. So it's a lot of dust that goes in, 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 in my door rag and my door rag gets dirty. It's, it's common sense, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a warehouse, but some people got different type of jobs, okay? So it depends on your job, it depends on you. If you, the faster progress you want, you can wash uh, your hair twice a week. The fast, fast progress you need, you gotta brush more. The more you brush, the better you, your waves get. Simple, you don't need pomades, you don't need any type of thing, just brush. That's all you have to do to get waves, okay? Besides though, you know what I'm saying? The different products that you're gonna need is the company from waves, okay? So, after you finish locating your crown, you already know, you already know what pattern you want. It's different patterns, you know what I'm saying? I don't count 180 because it's only on top. It's only three angles on top. 
accounts having 20s, 540s, 360s. That's the main patterns. That's the patterns that people choose. Some people choose hybrids. Some people choose 720s. We got hybrids in all of them. 360, Swirl, 360, or a Slash. It's different ones at the end. It's 360 because it's your whole head. So that's how I see it. 720s, it's 360 because you got to rotate your hair, your, your, your head 360. So 720s because of the, the brush. Instead of like this, which is like that, 360, you're using the brush vertical, your eight angles, 720s. So after you find your crown, you already found it, you already brushing, you just gotta stay committed and do not flick your wrist. Do not, don't flick it. You're not playing instrumentals with it. You're not, you're not a barber and don't flick it, leave it steady. If you're brushing, Leave it steady. If it's like this is my 540, this is how I'll brush my 540. Straight forward here, forward on top, and then 540 comes with a slant and top and the back. That's a 540. So I slant it. So next I go to my third one right here. Instead of brushing it's like this 360, I go like this. You see? You see how it's a slant. The same as 360, but with a slant. That's the same thing, but with a slant. The same thing I'm brushing the back with a slant, which is the opposite. This one is like that, and the back is like this. So that's how I, I get 540 and over here straight down. You see straight down 360, it's like this to your temple. 540 is downward. Down the temple. You see little twitches between 360s and 540s, but the difference is there. So you gotta pay attention how you're brushing. Maybe one day you're brushing vertical, and vertical you gotta be scared of it. Because if you don't know how to brush vertical, you could cause a lot of forks. Remember, especially if you're using a hard brush. The hard brush is like the strongest brush in the whole brush section, you know what I'm saying? So if you're new, I know a lot of new beginners gonna watch this. If you're a new beginner, I suggest you start with a medium brush. Medium brush control all angles and, and woofings. So be advised, get a medium brush to start and then a softy and then when you get better, you can get a hard brush, you know what I'm saying? Cause the more bristles you use, the faster you're gonna put your angles. So normally we brush with the metal, which is right here, horizontal. More, sometimes we brush like this, cause this gives you fastest results cause you're using the entire brush on all the bristles. Most of the time we use just this. And this tip right here, we use it for the crown. So if you're using the whole brush, make sure you're breaking a fork. If you're not breaking a fork, make sure you only use this on vertical. Cause some people feel comfortable brushing vertical. I feel comfortable brushing vertical. And horizontal, it depends on what angle is it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we wanna use everything with vertical. So it depends on the angle you work, you know? Okay? So, your crown is located, you already know your crown is, if some people have open crown, which is beehive, which is good, it's perfect for beehive. If you got a closed crown like me, which is a swirl crown, cause mine is a swirl, it's already closed. If, if I wanna get a beehive, I gotta train it. I gotta like, I gotta stay there for, for a while training my hair, so my hair could be able to open up and become a beehive. But since I didn't want a beehive, I wanted a 360 with a swirl. I had the perfect crown because my crown is already closed. I don't have to close it. So that's the difference between swirls and beehives. You know what I'm saying? Some people, a lot of them got beehives and it's easy to get a beehive. But on top of everything, you gotta look for the location too. Cause some people have the crown right here in the middle, which is perfect. Some people got it up here. Some people even got two, two crowns. Uh, PB to go. I know you guys know PB to go. He has two crowns. So he had to choose which crown was better because he got 720s now. He had a 360 beehive before. So every time that he's cow, he had to choose. And I realized he's always, he was always choosing the one close to the metal, which is how a do. That was a perfect, you know what I'm saying, decision that he made. So me being him, I would choose the same thing. I would choose the, if I had two crowns, I would choose the one that is closer to the metal 
because it's easier. You know what I'm saying? All of us, we want a crown and a medal because it's easier. You can get BH720, it will look nice. But that's how God made us, and this is what I got. So I got to work with it. So I give you guys enough evidence. As you can see, I'm working on correcting my angles right here, connecting this right here, and uh, my top, I'm slanting it more. So I can be able to connect right here. So what I'm doing is I'm doing two washing styles a week. So I can be able to, to move my hair. When your hair is wet, it's easy to manipulate, but you gotta be careful. Because at the same time you got lather, and the lather, you're not see you, you're not you're not looking at your angles and you could brush it at the wrong time. So when you put that door rack on and your hair's already dry, you could create a fork easy. So pay attention to watch and stuff when you do that. That's after you pass the curling and your waves already set it in. That's it. So that's it, guys. That's that's all I have to tell you about. When you find your location and your crown, when you scalp, you cut it to 1.5. I give it enough juice so you guys can work on it. You know, I hope this video help out and I hope I see you guys being in the league. Why not? We all want to be elite. And just woof. If you're meeting here like me, when your hair is already set up and your crown, everything is ready, legit. Always cut your hair with a 2.5 or, or, or 2.0. Don't cut it to 1.5. 1.5 is like you cutting all your progress. If you want definition, if you want definition like mine, so you can see my waist from far. Cut it to 1.0 uh, to 2.0. 2.5 i got 2.0 next time that i cut it which is four three weeks from now i'm cutting in 2.5 the finishing is crazy 